Yo, what's going on guys? I've decided I wanted to test out Need for Speed Heat uh, Unite mod again. So, uh, let me show you the graphic settings. And this is with the ASUS Strix RTX 4090 graphics card and an i9-1300K of uh, CPU at 5.7 GHz all core clock. Okay, so here's the graphics settings, Need for Speed Heat Unite mod. And there's uh, different settings here than the standard uh, non-modded uh, Need for Speed. So if you see something different, it's because of the mod. So we're at 7680 by 4320. I'm playing on a 4K 144Hz display. All the graphic settings are fully maxed out here. These are the highest they go to. So again, these are different settings that you normally see uh, the regular Need for Speed Heat without the mod. And anti-aliasing anti is off because obviously we're at 8K, no reason to use it. So uh, really this mod shines the most at night, but I will play a little bit in the daytime and then we'll switch to night mode. But uh, it's just uh, beautiful what it does with the graphics. I decided I'll try daytime because it's uh, this lighting here looks a little, a little crazy, so I have to show uh, daytime and then I'll show nighttime once you the city. And maybe we'll do one race too, just to you know, see how everything runs with the uh, computer components to race against. But visually, it's just beautiful. It's like a whole different game, honestly. I mean, it's just like it's insane. Okay, so now let's switch to night mode here. So uh, let's go to nighttime. And then this is where the mod really shines is at night. Like all the lighting effects and stuff that you see, you can really see it uh, at nighttime. Especially when it shows us some rain on the ground. The reflections are absolutely insane. So we'll go ahead and do a race, and I'll do one of my favorite races. But I haven't played this game in a while, so I've forgotten the controls. So I'll do one of my favorite uh, night races. And I believe it's somewhere over here. Uh, not that one. I'm trying to remember where it was. It's been a long time since I played this game. Yeah, Ocean Drive. I think Ocean Drive was the one. We'll go there, and then I will do a race, and we'll see how. 8K run with the for Speed Unite right mods. So I'll be quiet and you guys enjoy the, the footage. how this runs. I know in 8k uh, these scenes here for some reason they run really really bad so just bear with me as I get through this part of the scene and then uh, when the actual the race starts it won't be as bad so just bear with me as uh, for some reason the speed heat uses so much uh, video memory and the issue is it runs out of video memory 8k so this scene here is a little bit well not a little bit it's very uh, laggy and slowed down but once the race starts it'll be fine so I'll just try to skip this and get the race started, and then it'll be fine. Again, I haven't played this game in a long time, and I'm excited for the new Need for Speed Unbound, which comes out the, uh, December 2nd, so I'm definitely going to be playing that on this uh, computer, and it'll be a lot of fun, and uh, definitely stay tuned for that, especially if you're a Need for Speed fan. I've been a long time Need for Speed fan, I mean, honestly, I've been playing Need for Speed since, like, before PS1, like, I think originally, the first Need for Speed was on PC, Probably in like 1993 or something. It was a long, long time ago. But I've always been a fan of Need for Speed series, so I'll definitely be playing and definitely buying a Need for Speed on It's just like it just has to happen. And again, I haven't played it a long time, so bear with me as I remember the track and stuff. So we'll switch to different views and stuff. Try to close up view. Inside view. This inside view is so safe because it's so low to the ground. So like, it just looks insane. Oh shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, it runs beautifully 8K. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not 60 frames per second. But it's definitely playable. I mean, I'm playing just fine. The only issues are those little cutscenes where it drops to like one frame per second. That's because it's using way too much video memory. And there really seems to be no way around that at 8K. Unless you have more than 24 gigabytes of VRAM. But just look at that detail, it just looks sick. It's like a whole different game. I don't have that much NOS because uh, this is a new car, one of the new cars that they added with the mod, and I don't have a whole lot of NOS. Unfortunately, it runs out so fast as you can see there. But we'll see how this one, the cops come, and we'll see the reflections of the cop lights and stuff, and uh, see how the game plays. Yeah, it's like a whole different game. I mean, I wish I had more time to play these games, honestly. Which, unfortunately, I don't unless it's the weekend or it's a holiday. But, uh, definitely a uh, fun experience. Yeah, that's just like... I just hopefully I can get some cops. Uh, to come up, so let me see how to get some cop action to play, just to show you uh, some more different stuff. So bear with me as I try to find a cop, which is surprising, I thought I would see one by now. I mean, I've been driving pretty crazy. Sound effects are different when you're at the low angle uh, inside view. It's hard to see, but it looks absolutely insane. There we go, that was a cop. That's what I wanted. Let's listen. Cops and robbers. Yeah. So we're gonna try to get to like a high heat level and then we'll close up the video. But I don't want to lose him, I want to keep him. Lots of cops. I'm trying to do everything I can to attack the GPU. But it seems like it doesn't go below 38 frames per second at 8K, which is insane given the, how detailed this game is. I'm gonna just try to create a huge, crazy cop chase scene and then uh, we'll see what happens. Let's destroy some top cars now. Shifts over. Bye. Thank you. Whatever happened to Fortune? Somebody back me up. 
reinforcements are coming. This is exactly what I want. Come on. It's been a while since I played this game, and I, like I said, I wish I had more time to play this game, but I just don't have the time. There's another YouTuber that I watch, and I've been watching him for many, many years. It's a uh, Bang for Buck uh, PC Gamer, I think that's his YouTube channel, should be his name. But I've been watching him for many, many years, and uh, he's always kind of had like similar rigs to me. Like when he had the AMD Ryzen 9 you know, with the X, I had that. When he had the 4090, I had the 4090. It's like, I, I'm not even trying to copy him, but we always seem to be on the same like type of hardware. And then now with Intel, he was on the i9 uh, 12900K, and then I got the i9 12900KS, but now he's on 13 gen uh, i9 13900K, and then I'm on the KS, and then he's on the 4090, I'm on the 4090. So me and him have always been on like the same kind of like PC uh, configs, except he, his channel is a lot bigger because he's been doing it for many more, many more years than I have. And I don't know how he has the time to play other games, but he, play, he plays and uploads a ton of videos, which I just cannot keep up with. Because I have a busy work schedule. So. Hours, if you do have time, check out his channel, uh, Bank for Bug PC Gamer. I'll try to link it in the, the video description. But uh, yeah, he's always been pretty similar rig with me. He's also got an AMD rig with a, like a 7900 XT, I think it's called. And, uh, Rise of 5800 X. So, but his is a great channel. He's always doing a lot of videos, and again, I don't know how he has the time to record the amount of videos he does because I just don't have that same amount of uh, available time. Anyways, I don't really have that much time to do for this video, so I'm going to close up the video. I wanted to show you uh, some good footage and some cop chases, and uh, we'll see if I can get busted here, and then we'll close up the video. It's gonna cost mayhem right now before I close out the video. Seems like the cars are hard are harder to destroy in this mod, I'm not sure why. Uh, really taxed and everything, the TPU, CPU. And just for anybody who hasn't seen my previous video, I'll do a 4K really quickly because uh, I know you guys want to see also 4K, which will be more playable. So we'll do 4K here. So let's apply this. And then uh, just so it's on here, this video, so I don't think I'll. Just to show you how it runs. And as you can see, it runs a whole lot better. Nothing a few hours in the shop can't fit. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. See you guys for the next video. Stay positive in life, and I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching, and uh, peace out.